Booker. The little girl in the film. It's me. My God. Oh, I, rem I remember. He, he was... He, he'd crashed into the tower. I, I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking... Thinking, I, I don't know, that something would happen, but... But he just... Lay there. Moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting... Me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair. He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong must take an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. It's open! See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers! Spread out! for myself. Su Chong can only offer table scraps. <laughs> what you got there? No, no. Just grabbing anything that looks halfway there. Who are you then? What's going on? Ah! Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die.
for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities. Did I ever even have a choice? Did you? Yeah. Booker thought he did. <laughs> Look where it got us. All these infinite universes, and yet we end up just going down the same paths. I will take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower, and I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? And yet, here you are. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not gonna break any cycle. If I'm lucky, maybe I can dent it. Just a little. Assemble in two. Then, business is finished. What's going on out there? Bloodshed, violence, but not relevant to our arrangement. Su Chong! Su Chong, we had a deal now. Open! Do you know what they call someone who enters a man's home uninvited? A thief. And I do not remember inviting you into my city. I had a deal with Su Chong. Yi Su Chong is my employee. It was not a deal he was authorized to make. What do you want? I granted Atlas and his thugs asylum. You serve those same men in a desire to escape from my generosity. If they shall not have asylum, then they shall have liquidation. Give a parasite an ounce of charity. you will demand a pound. I'm just looking for a girl that was taken from me. A little sister. I don't claim to understand what you are. But I know that you are special. There is business we can do together. And so, I give you a choice. Work for me, or die with Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that girl. If it's a little sister you want, that shouldn't stand in the way of commerce. I've got dozens of them. I won't leave without her. My men stand ready to take down the door. In 60 seconds, they will enter the room. They will either treat you as a valued employee of Ryan Industries, or as a thief in the night. 60 seconds. There must be half a dozen of them or more. I've got to get ready. No traps. I, I can use the plasmids as traps and, and seed the room with them. i got to find somewhere to hide and, and surprise them. Take them down one by one. Forty seconds. You know what I see on your face? Uncertainty. Who is this girl to you? Thirty seconds. Do you know the value of the shark? Without them, the sea would be littered with the detritus of the weak. The men who come for you have much in common with those great animals. What sharks do for the ocean? These men do for rapture. 
20 seconds. I will tell you something you already sense. Atlas does not honor agreements. Andrew Ryan does. I cannot save your Sally, but I can save you. Time. You're not a hero. You're not even a parasite. You're just a room. And Andrew Ryan has no time for rooms. Don't make Show yourself! I'm on your side! You should've... There she is! Time's up, you goddamn twist! Now you're in the soup! Get out here where I get her! Should've never stuck his neck out! Sharks, Ryan. The better man won. Isn't that the only thing you respect? Now let me the hell out of here. Sounds like all hell's breaking loose out there. What's your plan? I can't just place the particle on the ceiling. It would just tear right through it. But every building in Rapture was submerged into the ocean on the lunette ring, connected to the junction of its load-bearing supports. Fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. Looks like the structural junction is in Frank Fontaine's office. If I can get there, I can float the building. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. I'll make sure you've access to the private elevator. Now hurry. Supposed to be a brunette. Anyone seen her? Coward. Expose your frailties to me! Get out here where I can see you. I'm done here. Louie, 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 Louie. Hey, if you don't get out here soon, there's not gonna be an ounce of booze or a piece of ass for the taking. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I think you've taken this whole Robin Hood business a bit too much to heart. Fontaine's got us out there ladling soup for the purpose of building an army. Not to share the milk of human kindness. You keep up this kind of behavior. I'm gonna start thinking there's more red in you than Karl Marx. What? The hell? Splicers. Watching me! Hurwitz! Help us! What the hell was that? 
<laughs> I never thought anyone would be able to bring all these degenerate splits within the line. I gotta hand it to Atlas. After Ryan locked us up in this pit, I thought that was it. Just a long, final dive into the abyss. But he's given us hope. Or what passes for it down in Rapture. When a person's got nothing, hopes about the kindest thing you can give her. Or the cruelest. Should have never stuck his neck out! There you are! Had any principles? You wouldn't be skulking around. Still here, aren't you? Not goddamn time you show. There she is. I know. And I'm ready. Are you sure? I sent myself here for a reason. Didn't I? And who exactly are you speaking to, Miss Comstock? If I were less acquainted with the vicissitudes of genius, I suspect I would question your sanity. I know so little of you, but I imagine the more I learned, the more exceptional. I would find you. You know Atlas will betray you. And what are you? My best friend? You're one of a kind in this world. Or others. And now, your misguided sense of altruism sends you to your doom. It's like watching Isaac Newton die in a house fire. In a vain attempt to save his cat. There, there, there. All the load-bearing columns come into this room and they meet... They meet there. I just need to place the particle in that junction, activate it and the whole structure should rise. There's no plan B. Might as well just get it over with. The girl means nothing, but you love, you mean the world. 